It's Friday, May 30th, 2014. I'm Ariel Nunez, and from our CBS studios in New York City, welcome to the 404. Welcome to the 404 show, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Ariel Nunez. Most, uh, first and foremost, you didn't know this, Shannon, but Ariel's been, been gone for like two weeks. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, he looks refreshed. Oh, man, I am refreshed. Look at him. He's like a million dollars sitting over there. He's, uh, I think he's still <laughs> drunk. That's what it is. Uh, yeah, he's yeah, just maybe wasted. A little, maybe a little. <laughs> he's just wasted. <laughs> Welcome to the 404 show. My name is Jeff Bacalar. I'm Justin Yu. And we're joined today once again by the lovely and talented Shannon Cook. Round of applause for Shannon Cook. She brings with us, Thank she you. brings with her rather, very interesting stories that we always love to hear. But when it's time for the show, you uh, are here representing Spotify, all the new artists and uh, trends that are happening on the Spotify service, which right. is just, Spotify is killing it. It is. Like, yeah, we just announced that we now have 10 million Paying, paying subscribers. That's a lot of 40, cash. 40 million active users. So how well. much of that do you get? I get a good 10%. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's, so you get $10 million off that. Yeah. That's pretty dope. No, wait. How did you calculate that? 10, 10, 10 times 10. 10. Okay. It's 100 million. Mm. Your math is much better than mine. It's just quicker. When we're in the U.S., <laughs> you know, that's how it works. We don't have to deal with the, the lag of Australia and sort of, <laughs> you know, the conversion well, rate. Even though I live... In the U.S., my brain is still in the Southern Hemisphere. That's mm. fine. Yeah. It's fine. It's way more laid back. Speaking of which, you, you have artists uh, yeah. from your homeland. I want to focus on Australia a little bit today, if you don't mind. Yeah, because we never talk about Australia <laughs> on the show. So only when you're here. So let's do that. There are two <laughs> females from my homeland who are really blowing up on Spotify at the moment. And okay. one of them is it's pretty much blowing up around the world at the moment and let's should we start with that one because we I, should let's start with iggy so this is iggy azalea iggy azalea was lord and was, just as i say that yeah i want she's a rapper right she's a rapper. i wonder if she's ever rapped i'm iggy azalea and i'm from australia <laughs> that's <laughs> I mean, pretty top level yeah, stuff for her i don't know she, that's like low-hanging fruit somewhere I mean. along the line though she must have or must say that well she's 23 so I, I would imagine that happened like towards the beginning of her maybe. career maybe when she was first starting out so i wait, think what you're trying to say is i have no business rapping well no like i don't <laughs> i don't necessarily associate like rap with shannon cook no i'm not like oh remember when she used to rap you know <laughs> uh but, well but, iggy iggy azalea is basically the most popular artist in the U.S. at the moment. Really? She's on top of the Billboard charts with her song Fancy. Can you take that photo off? This is literally screen? the first image that came up I when I typed in Iggy that. Azalea. What? Is that the... Okay, so let's get I'm one thing out of the way. I'm talk about Iggy Azalea. I don't need to look inside <laughs> Iggy Azalea. Oh well, just to give you an idea of what this photo is. You know what's is. funny is that you know when you look up a picture in Google Images, they always have the categories at, at the top. Yeah. Right. The top three categories that show are Nicki Minaj beef. When you type in Iggy Azalea, right. Nicki Minaj beef figure. There's a whole separate category for her figure. She has a great bod. And before implants, which I'm assuming refers to her butt implants. Well, here's a Aww. photo of her, the most tasteful one we could actually p uh, pull up here. Um, a lot of mercy. She's hot. She, <laughs> she she's hot. Her she's butt a hotsy looks totsy. like. It's controlling things, <laughs> like it, it it moves satellites and stuff. Yeah, it kind good of, for her. Kind of looks like it's even telling her what's happening. So wait, shot. so there's a lot of stuff coming. So wait, she has. A, I, she was, ha was I'm sorry. Was Lord <laughs> was Lord also Australian, right? Lord is from New Zealand, but New thank Zealand. you. Yeah, it's, um, I mean, come on, what's the difference? But back to Iggy. Yes. Iggy, <laughs> right? Iggy and Lord in very different camps here. Yeah. Iggy's. Got the number one song on the Billboard charts. She has the she's had the top song on Spotify f pretty much for the whole month of May, and the song is Fancy. I don't know if you you haven't heard it. No, can we you pull, need to can check we pull it up out. Fancy? Yeah, please. Justin's gonna pull up the song Fancy by Iggy Azalea. I don't know what she's about. You're about to find out. Okay. She's so fancy. She do the music too, or is that someone else? Oh man, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that coming out of her. She's hardcore. She doesn't sound Australian. Well, that's kind of one of the interesting things is she. 
she grew up in Australia, and at the age of six, she grew up listening to Missy Elliott was her big idol. Yeah, I was going to say clearly like uh, Americans. She grew up in a town called Mullumbimby. Mullumbimby. Is that how you say and it in Australia? Say probably. It. Say it like the true Australian. Mullumbimby. Mullumbimby. Anyway, at the age of 16, she decided she was going to pursue her rap career. She wanted to be a rapper, always had. So she moved, relocated to the U.S. She moved to Miami first. And she basically um, educated herself in the South. And if you listen, her she's got a bit of a Southern twang going on there. Yeah. T.I. was actually her mentor for a really? while. And Ariel, so, you're the resident expert on this. What, yeah. what do you think? I like Iggy. I mean, at first, I... I really did not like her because because of the whole, you know, fake, fake accent kind of thing. Yeah. But I don't know. I think you could find influences from anywhere. You know. Sure. And, you can, and yeah. I mean, I mean, a lot. She does get criticized because she did. Yeah. Maybe some people think she sounds too forced because when you hear her speak, yeah, an Australian accent comes out. So mm -hmm. the contrast between the speaking Iggy and rapping Iggy is pretty, pretty enormous. Yeah. Right, but she's not the first artist to ha of have a different exactly, vo exactly. singing voice than yeah. a talking voice. Of course not. And and country singers who come from Australia or from Britain, they adopt an American sound to them anyway. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. And actually. If you listen to Iggy speaking, and obviously you haven't heard her speak, her accent isn't true Aussie because she's been in the U.S. for a while. It's a bit like mine. It's kind of a dog's breakfast. It's like Is that you can—that's called yeah, a dog's breakfast. That? It's like a mishmash. It's you can you can hear some. Uh, sometimes I throw out some strong R's and uh, yeah. You've, I've How long here. have you been here? Uh, Twelve years. Huh. Twelve years, and I think she's been here for eight. Wow. So, yeah, I mean, does she have a full on Aussie accent? No. No. It's tainted already. I like so, how you guys there's say all kinds no. of. No. No. Kind of goes on yeah. forever. No. No. Yeah, it's weird. It's cool. <laughs> it it's not weird. weird. It's good. I like it's it. It's weird. Yeah. Well, we've never forced you to do an American accent for us. Now that we're, I mean, if there was ever a time. Not happening. This is, what are you, come on. As soon as you. You just did a southern one for us before. Yeah, but I'm not doing that when the cameras are rolling. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that was bad. I actually lived in Atlanta for a while. All right, I'm I, sorry. I did pick up a way, I, I picked up, I didn't adopt the southern accent, but I could imitate it hmm. pretty well but i'm not going to do it for you but come on just give me like Forget an american it. one like i'm happy to be here on the 404 no. show let me you hear can do that. a valley girl no. come on, come on. See, now you can't go the other way no i don't want to because it's gonna sound so bad just say xyz then xyz okay. then <laughs> no, <laughs> she's not, come cute. on you know the listeners demand it of you we've got where are the listeners demanding this well, I we're don't not see live demand. anymore but that's what happened last time you were here they're like make sure we're i can say i'll say one word because sometimes in order in especially in the beginning the early days when i first moved here in order to be understood i sometimes had to try to put on a bit of an Blend american in. accent and with the word car i had mm. to do that I'd be like, it's in the car. What? It's in the car. In the what? Yeah. In the car. <laughs> that was good oh, enough for right. me. In that was car. good enough for me. <laughs> you freaking pirate over here. <laughs> <laughs> but it feels weird. It feels like there are marbles in my mouth. Yeah. 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 And you, Any, anyway, back to Iggy. Back yes. to Iggy. I want to hear killing her talk. It. She's killing it. She... Well, f then find, yeah, can you pu find can something. You pull up her talking, maybe. But yeah, so she's killing it. She's got the most streamed song on Spotify. Most streamed song on Spotify, cool. and has like it's streamed about three million times a week, which is which is really big, and it's only getting bigger. Yeah. And interestingly, she has the top song on the Billboard uh, Hot 100 mm -hmm. at the moment with "Fancy," and she also has the number two spot on that chart with um, Ariana Grande. Okay. Young singer, 20 year old singer, has a song with Iggy called Problem. Hmm. And that is the second biggest song in the country at the moment. It's also the second biggest song on Spotify at the moment. Let's play that one. So, Iggy, now, wait, before we get to, to Problem, look mm -hmm. at those white boots. They are hot. Mm -hmm. she, she has an interesting style. She, but she's, this is the first time since the Beatles that Whoa, someone relax. has occupied the first two positions of the Billboard Hot 100. And nothing's changed <laughs> <laughs> since they were... No, that's interesting. Slightly that's a, that's different hairstyles. That's a pretty big claim. Yeah. Number one and two. Ariana Grande, she's great. She's really come alive on Spotify too recently in the last few weeks. She's just on the up and up with our listeners. 
great voice. She's kind of like Mariah Carey. She gets compared to Mariah Carey because she has mm. that ability to hit those high notes effortlessly. She, she looks 12 years old. But she's 21. She does, but she's 20. Well, is she 21 well, now? She's about to be 21. Oh. She's almost 20. She's 20. She can almost have a drink to almost. toast all this massive success. In a, in but Iggy, in Iggy, a month. Iggy appears on this song too. And like it or not, I think Fancy uh, is going to be the song of the summer. And it's interesting too because it's it's a bit like what we saw this time last year. Remember, we the song of the summer was Blurred Lines, right? Oh, right. And it was a toss-up really between Blurred Lines and Get Lucky, mm. and those two songs were linked mm -hmm. by Pharrell. Mm. And so here we almost have what's emerging the same sort of pattern: another twofer, two songs linked by Iggy. Iggy. I it's amazing that like that's all you have to do now is have the song of the summer. I feel like that's what all these guys are really competing for. Do you think so? I do. Like song like that to me that almost has more, you know, worth than like a Grammy. Like well, I was song... the song of the summer in 2013. What do I, what did you do? Well, usually what happens is the song of the summer means you really had the song of the year and then right. Grammys and right. awards follow. They're so kind of connected. <laughs> yeah. and, and by January, everyone hates it. Yes. However, I mean, if you were to ask me right now, and I know it's only, is it June yet? It's uh, soon. Monday will be June. Soon it will be June. Yeah. Um, see, I can I rhyme. <laughs> Sunday will be June. I can rhyme. Sunday <laughs> by, is June. Yeah, Sunday's June. By the time the show is over, we'll have enough for someone to have edited a whole rap by Shannon oh, Cook. Oh, gosh. Especially with Car. Oh, you gave us a gem there. Car. <laughs> yeah. But if you were to ask me right now, what's been the biggest song of the year yeah What's i wouldn't that? say fancy i would say pharrell's happy yeah i would say happy too oh. and even by the end of the year if you oh come on it's oh, that sweet. song sucks it. yeah no that song it doesn't sucks. oh my god i'm sorry it's that just... and get lucky but it's not because yeah. the song sucks it's because i've heard it so much it's yeah that earworm it's... syndrome thing yeah but like for me it's a double whammy because one i don't think it's just so catchy that it's nauseating and then it's about positive stuff i just can't Aww. i like get lucky get lucky's okay but you know what i've older, been hearing right? a lot this summer is saxophones in music coming back yeah that iggy song had one yeah. macklemore right? macklemore had one yeah. and then i've been hearing um that jason derulo song a lot with yeah, two chains yeah. what did that where'd that start Talk Talk dirty to me. Dirty. Oh. But no, but I'm saying like the original thing it's coming from is like you belong to the city. <laughs> like it's what? it's like sampling yeah, that yeah. 80s sort oh, of like right, right, right. you know weird you know da, 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 ominous da, 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 da. saxophone in the background. Yeah. Oh it's god, good are we news. about to give Kenny G credit That's what I was about for to say. Something? It's good news for Kenny G. <laughs> yeah, right. No, but think about it. Like that was the pinnacle 80s definition like defining instrument right yeah. like whenever there was a dude in an alley with fog yeah. at night he was playing the saxophone <laughs> under a street lamp Careless whisper. my man's playing a saxophone in like rolled up did blazers you ever, did you remember that snl skit that had john ham in it and he was playing the saxophone oh yeah sexy saxophone guy it right? was the most fantastic yeah. hit and not just because he, John was not wearing a shirt. It's a, mm -hmm. it's it a pretty good funny skit. instrument. It is a funny instrument. But it's a, I think it's a great instrument, but it's also inexplicably Squeaky. hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You think it's hilarious? I think the trombone I mean, think, is hear hilarious. That. I mean, it almost sounds like Yiddish. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like Jewish. You know? I hate it's that a song. Bit of a, <laughs> yeah, this song sucks. That song's been a big song on Spotify yeah. since January. Yeah, it's been like top 10 yeah. stream. Do you... I mean, and now he's got another song. I think it's called Wiggle. Yeah. Spotify is Stone. really changing not just the way people consume music. Mm -hmm. It's changing music. You think so? I huh? do. I think because it's more now about, you know, on-demand stuff. Right. Whereas you would, you know, it's like not, you're not waiting for a song to come on the radio now. Now you're just like waiting no. to get that instant gratification. It's and I also, think that indirectly changes the way music's made. It's also having a big impact because of playlists and yeah. the ability to curate your own album. Right. And I think people, people now expect to be their own DJs mm. and they enjoy being their own DJs. Yeah. And going back to just having to digest albums that are compiled for you is is is, is tough for listeners now because they're like just made my own album right. more or less you know it has every single song on this album i want to listen to there's no filler yeah. and i don't need that you know? it's also doing wonders for your homeland it's like 
putting them on the map. <laughs> you know, before this, it's it was good. all like kangaroos and wizards and stuff. And it's, now it's good it's for real. emerging artists, actually, because the nature of um, the way listeners share songs around, mm. they can get picked up yeah, quickly and rise to the top, which is what happened with Lord. Yeah. You know what I'm really into lately is the social element of Spotify, too. It's not getting recommendations from some random website that doesn't know my taste at all, but having right. collaborative playlists with my friends. We've been doing that a lot lately ever since I got a Spotify account. We just have playlists that everybody has access to. Right. So they can just add whatever songs they want, and that way I can you know, get put onto new music. Sure. That's sort of a personal recommendation. Sure. I really like that. That's the best. That's absolutely, he's 100% right. That's the well, best thing. Well, I also like that you can follow here on the right side mm -hmm. whoever you like. Right. And, and you see their streams update. And I only follow people whose taste I admire. Oh, yeah. And, like I have a friend who's a DJ in the UK and every time he's listening to something and I see a song that pops up that he's listening to, I always click on it and I always like it. Yeah. And I'm just so I'm just so happy that he can introduce me to these these cool things that I would never discover on my own. You know what's kind of tricky about Spotify though is that there's a trap when you first install it onto your computer mm. because the Privacy settings makes it automatically post to yeah. your Facebook profile and right. publicly show on Spotify. So you have to turn that off immediately if you don't want every song you listen to to be publicly available. Which is very easy. But that can be dangerous because I didn't know that when I first installed it. And so I was you listening were listening to, to Bonnie Raitt. Right. Yeah. I can't make you love Bonnie, me. Bonnie and Bonnie somebody Bonnie. took a screenshot of it. One of my friends took a screenshot of it, posted it to my Facebook wall and was like, are you okay, man? But is see, everything all you know right over there? But do you know what's interesting about that is it was a conversation starter. Yeah, And every true. everyone on Facebook and Twitter, they're talking about the most mundane, annoying things. Crap, like, yeah. this morning I ate an egg. Um, oh, this cab driver is making me feel sick. You yeah. know? And <laughs> conversations... That was almost English, too. Yeah, that was almost are making me thirsty. That was almost American. Conversa <laughs> conversations are starting, base, base, starting from these really mundane observations, yeah. whereas a conversation that starts from music can be really interesting. Like mm -hmm. your friend noticed you were listening to this song, which right. is a beautiful song. However and, embarrassing. And wondered if you're okay. Yeah, like, right. like is something actually going on in your life that drove you to listen to that song? So he mm -hmm. actually, was he making fun of you? Probably a little bit. Yeah, but, definitely. But maybe he also <laughs> actually wanted to hear what was going on inside and your head. And maybe he had never heard that song before, and now he's put on to Bonnie Raitt. New maybe. Bonnie Raitt fan for me. Maybe. I, I think Spotify is cool because previous to this, music listening was a really private experience, but now right. it kind of opens up the conversation. I, I, I felt if like you wanted before to, like, you could be a music snob. Yes. And no one ever wanted to talk about music. No one ever wanted to ask, like, hey, what is this playing? You know, right. like, shut like, up, figure it out yourself. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You had to like <laughs> secretly Shazam it in your pocket. Yeah. You know what I mean? And now you can talk about it normally and not have to worry about you know, not knowing about something. It's interesting yeah. you brought up Shazam. I'm really surprised that Spotify doesn't have a built-in Shazam. That's like, why idea. doesn't it have that? Should and I'm I, asking you because you make it. No, we should ask Major, too, our buddy Andrew Major, who works for Spotify. But I was, I was always surprised. Like, what, mm -hmm. you know, that there's not just so. one Shazam. There's a couple of them. Right. So it's like, why isn't there, you know, and I'm speaking just like, you know, creatively thinking, like, mm -hmm. why is it not just built in? Wouldn't it make a lot of sense? We need to put him on the board. Well, I don't know if I need we to be on any speech. sort of board, yeah. but I'm just here to help. The first advice is free. Everything else <laughs> comes, comes at a prize. I also retainer. think there should be lyrics for every song that you pull up. Well, Do you think that's so? gotta be really well, there's easy. apps there's a bio so and everything. It's, but it's so easy to find lyrics. Well, and there's apps that do, like, TuneWiki does that on oh, Spotify. Yeah. But I, don't um, you like that it's just it's simple and it's about the music. Here I are like the songs, the just play it. No videos, yeah, yeah. just listen to the damn song. For sure. No equalizer. Listen to the damn song. <laughs> you know what Spotify needs? And there's also like a beta app. I kind of like hack my Spotify a little bit. Oh, you there's do? like a visualizer. It mm -hmm. needs a visualizer. Do you okay. need that? Yes, you do. Okay. Because sometimes when I'm listening to music and I'm playing it like through my computer on the TV, yeah. I need to be like tranced out a little bit, if you know right. what I mean. So sort of. I just need but to be like I need to like yeah. lose myself music. in the music. Do you man? need it? I think he needs a two week vacation. <laughs> yeah. Ariel, Perhaps. where did you go? Recommend us <laughs> yeah. a place yeah. for our friend here. Yeah. I'm just yeah. saying, I want to like. You know, I don't want to look at a computer screen. I just want to like melt into the couch. That's what your lava lamp is for. for. I'm not talking about like getting stoned and well, staring people, at like a psychedelic rug. I'm talking about, you know what I mean? Well, these days, most people are coming to Spotify via their mobile phones anymore. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not so much a, 
a desktop a, experience. A desktop yeah. experience. Yeah. yeah. I think most of our new um, subscribers are coming from their, their phones. You know what I don't understand? Coming out from the phone. Yeah, that's it. Try Spotify. <laughs> I kind of want you to explain some Spotify technology for me, if you can, because I, I don't ask, understand. Do I look like No, I know, but you, you obviously have more insight into this than I do, having but I might never not. worked Here's there. where we finally grill Here's you. Spotify. It's happening. Right? One of the best things about Spotify is that you can set songs or playlists um, to be listened to offline. Right. So for people that take public transportation to work or whatever, you can save a whole playlist. And even though you don't have a Wi-Fi service connection, connection right. yeah, you can still access that and listen yeah. to full songs, albums, whatever. How right. does that even work? I have no idea. Oh, I know how, how it works. How does that work? You're asking well, me how that works. Yeah, well, I have no idea. I w- it's I don't, magic. I, I don't I'll, take it back. I'll take a step back. I don't know how it exactly works 100%. Mm-hmm. I would just imagine that it's just proprietarily encrypted down to the app. But it doesn't save it to your phone, so you're it does. not, you're not using to. space it has because to I've people. saved 100 albums onto my phone, and but there's how, no way I have the space for that. But Justin, how is it playing? If I don't it, know. That's what I'm that's It's what not I'm curious. freaking very dust. It's on your phone Apple somehow. doesn't allow you access to the hard drive as a software no, developer. No, actually, I actually do have the answer. Huh. Are you, you do? Okay, great. Stop drinking that water and tell number two. <laughs> no, she's, she just gave the answer whilst Are you drinking. Ready? Yeah. Oh, God, she's going to give something. It's magic. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> no, look. Get out of here. Justin. No, but it is necessary. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't ex- try to if explain really... it because you don't know either. But, Justin, there are certain laws that, that, we, that occupy the universe. No, I understand it must save it somehow, but <laughs> right. not onto your phone's hard drive. Then where? I don't know. It think, must buffer? I think it does. Yeah, I think it, it saves does. on the hard drive. It has to. Because, Somewhere. Because there's times where... Like when I sync my Spotify to my phone, mm-hmm. I'll lose space on my phone. Yeah. So it has to be saved locally onto your phone. Just Some, know. somehow. But it has to be. Stop, <laughs> sitting there like, stop saying know. my name like I'm a child. He's like, Justin. Because <laughs> you're having childish thoughts. You're having the thought that the that the music is somehow well, magic. None of us air. know how the technology let, works, but it must let compress me, it somehow, right, right exactly. Jeff? It's all compressed. Jeff, all this listen music's to me, compressed. Jeff. <laughs> it must work. You're being the idiot, Jeff? not me. You're right, being the moron. Oh, don't fight. No, because it's got to be. Gotta We're be here downloaded to talk about on the music. phone somewhere. Right? It must, yeah. You're right, no, exactly. You're right. You know how everything works. So but, I just ask you. <laughs> no, I'm just not a. Com- I'm not a. I'm, come on, Ariel. I'm back gonna find out. Here. Am I crazy? I'll find out. Let's find out. I'll ask no. my dudes, yeah. and, and I'll let you know. He's gonna say, "Oh, it puts a little gremlin in your pocket," and he, hold, <laughs> he holds on to the. No, music. he'll tell me. My dudes will tell me, and okay. I'll um. I'll fill you in. <laughs> All right. Did you know you can't put tinfoil in the microwave? Yes. Okay. I just want to make sure. Who did uh, that in a movie recently? Um. Uh, was it American Hustle? Someone did that. Oh right, Jennifer, Jennifer Lawrence. Lawrence. She did. What she calls it? She calls it like that. What she calls it? A different machine. She I don't calls know. it like. Uh, I can't remember. The hot machine or something <laughs> like. Which you know. All right. So those well, are the Australian artists no, no, you have. No, no, no. That was There's just more? one. I thought that we did just, two. That was just one. That was just Iggy Azalea who oh. comes from Australia. Okay. <laughs> Very soon <laughs> it's gonna be June. Um, I can't. What's the drinking in age in Australia? 18. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah, we get we get started with the good stuff early. <laughs> um, Sia. Have you heard of Sia? No. Sia is one of my favorite musicians and songwriters in on the planet. Sia Furler is a woman from Australia with an amazing singing voice, but her success has really come from her songwriting prowess, and she's written hit songs for everybody beyonce uh mm. name some other famous amazing people rihanna oh yeah <laughs> no, okay. how do you spell her name s-i-a s-i-a, S-I-A. S-I-A. oh yeah you I think you think it would be pronounced sia but it's right it's actually sia sia. furler she also has the best twitter bio i've ever read it, it says i am sia i was born from the bum hole of a unicorn <laughs> named steve what song is that you what can't is, top that what is that's her that? twitter bio oh okay she has a really a song that's really booming now on um, spotify and it's called chandelier mm. okay so now very mysterious so lady. There's a lot to talk about. Started as a, as a songwriter and now she's a singer songwriter. No, she's always had a bit of a solo career going. Yeah. But she's one of those artists who, even though she has a lot of fans, she kind of likes to keep it on the down low a little bit. Gotcha. But this song has a really cool music video out at the moment and you should check it out. What's the name it's of the song? Chandelier. Chandelier. Okay, I'm going to pull that up. You keep talking about the... the chandelier... Uh, um, Basically, the last two weeks, it's been shared really widely with our users and added to playlists and played like gangbusters. And it could even be 
a nice summer song, even though it's a depressing song. It's actually about drinking to excess. Okay. And sort of like the party scene in, in New York, it mm. kind of describes to me. And But the music video is really interesting because she's got this 11-year-old dancer named oh, Maddie. I, I pulled up the wrong thing, Yeah, I what guess. is that? This is, this is a visualizer, like I was talking about you before. You really do like the visualizer, it's, don't you? It's a really lame-ass <laughs> visualizer. <laughs> It looks like just a DNA strand. Um, it does. I'm gonna. Okay, it's I'm gonna. It's talking f- to you. It's creepy. There you go. You just had it. Oh, on this the top is there. it. Yeah. Okay. The oh no, that's where they pulled up. That's oh, odd. that's weird. Yeah. I'll keep looking for it. Essentially, what you see in this video is an 11-year-old girl um, from this song, Dance Moms. I've never watched Dance Moms. I can't imagine you guys have ever watched Dance Moms. What the hell is that? Here she is. Okay, here she is. Oh my Jesus. Whoa. Really? That's not her. That's it's not Sia. That's oh, okay. this eleven-year-old dancer, and right. she basically does this sort of interpretive, interpretive. Yeah. And she clearly is a dancer. Like yeah, she no, can do she stuff can move. like that. But she's—it's almost like she's improvising quite a lot. Huh. But she's dancing to this very emotive song, and that's the nice thing about Sia's voice. She can take it to places that, at the risk of sounding really girly, yeah, um, are really intensely emotional. And sure. she's got this dancer who's just beautifully portraying the high points and intense moments of this song anyway they performed I like this, this song it's a great song they performed this song on Ellen a couple of weeks ago I think it was now and the young girl was dancing on the Damn. set and Sia sang in the corner with her back to the audience mm. she didn't look at anybody well, that's she faced the wall and was kind of in the dark and this is a new thing she's doing. She's on this a bit of a campaign, a sort of an anti-fame campaign because she's worked so closely with these very famous artists like mm-hmm. Katy Perry, like Beyonce, and she's kind of disappointed by how much hatred c- comes towards these people online. Mm, I mean, we're, we're all familiar with trolls and all that kind yeah. of stuff. So she's decided that even oh, though she's... Man. Yeah, that looks painful. Oh. Yeah, so, so, even so she sings with her back to people to make a statement she about... She does. She's not doing any interviews yeah. surrounding this she's album. She's cashing those that checks, she's releasing. She's, she's cashing, cashing a lot of checks. checks. She's cashing a lot of checks because of her the hits that she's sure. been involved with in the past. But it, it's interesting. One of her biggest songs, and the song which really put her on the more mainstream map, is a song called Titanic. No, Titanium, not Titanic. Oh, I've heard that song. Both heavy, yeah, heavy. Know, yeah. Um, and it's a David Guetta song, the French DJ. And he sent her a bunch of tracks and said, will you write, you know, a melody for, for a hook for one of these tracks? Just pick one, whichever one you like. She picked one, which was Titanium. She wrote the melody. She sang a demo of it, mm-hmm. sent it back expecting that he was going to find another singer to put on like a, like like a Katy Perry. Right. But instead, he released it with her voice on it, even though she actually didn't really want that because she doesn't want to be super famous. Mm-hmm. But anyway, it became this massive hit, you know, chart topper on both sides of the pond and is a really great song actually. What are you playing? Are you just, just I think we've lost him. He's just, he's not? just gone off into This is Saya? This is yeah, a, right? this Titanium? Is a remix of oh, yeah. So, remix. Yeah. Oh. so so it, I find her path interesting. It like, is interesting. So, so to the way I understand it, it's a, it's a little conflicting with what she's kind of going for. You I could mean, you she could. was in she was essentially behind the scenes Right, mm-hmm. writing these songs for all these people, mm-hmm. but and had a solo career had as well. Had a solo career. She's not released a lot of solo right? albums. Not as big, and that's fine. Yeah, I like hearing these stories. Sure, like, but Kanye had a similar story. So did Lady Gaga, right? She, they both got their start writing songs for other artists. Yeah, but this, but Sia is a different. She really is a legitimate solo artist. I've been to some of her live shows, uh-huh. and sh- they're enormous. Yeah. She has this huge following. That's cool. Uh, because she is an extremely great performer and a, and, a, and a great singer but she's now so now she is really saying i don't want to be famous too late <laughs> yeah, I know. Little, and it may seem it, some people might say okay this is hypocritical here you are you've written this song you're releasing this you, you've got an album coming out soon you're on ellen mm-hmm. singing yet your backs to the audience but it's impossible I like it for someone in her position a, to, to declare this, though. I agree, but I like the point that she's making. I get. I mean, I guess she's just trying to make the point. Enjoy the music. 
I loved making it, but leave me out of it. Okay. Leave me alone. Well, then she should be Maybe like that's the message. Punk, where like no one knows who they are. Yeah, she should. Yeah, she. Should oh, wear this a is helmet. the song that makes you feel like you've had a concussion. <laughs> there it is. This is another. That's remix. what it sounds like it's when not, you get a concussion. Yeah, it's not I the can't find the original song. song. This is within a playlist called 40 Hit Songs for a Perfect Workout." <laughs> Is that not? This is not the one, huh? <laughs> this isn't hers. The original, where it's like that, almost like the the the, oh, look the up timings David off. Okay. okay, this must be it. That's it. Huh? It's a massive song. It's like no, I know many it. Many millions of. So this is it. Yes. I'm not hating on this. No, I like this song. This She's a, good. This is See a fantastic ya. song. We knew her when. I always learn so much when you're here because I, I'm so disconnected from this type of music. Popular stuff. Yeah, popular music, if you, whatever you want to call it. I've heard this song, though, before. I like it. It's not bad. She's a really... I mean, this is a very mainstream song, but yeah. she is not a mainstream type. Right. She's, she's unusual. She speaks her mind. She, she has an amazing music video for a song called... Um, I think it's called Buttons. And it's the most unflattering music video any pop singer could release. She's got like glad wrap around her oh, face. Oh, you showed us this before. Did I? Yeah, I think, I think so. It's crazy, but it's compelling and interesting. But she, she's that's it. Yeah, she's, yeah. She's just not afraid to. She's not afraid to be a little bit ugly. I'm not saying she is ugly, but she's, she's like, I don't. She doesn't care. No, I think you're saying she's ugly. No, I'm not. That's kind of what you said. I don't oh, think oh, that. No, this is an advertisement. Yeah, this is an ad. Is you're like, well, she's not afraid to be ugly. Because she's ugly. No, I didn't say that. I specifically followed that up That's with. That's just what I she's got. Not. This is what I got. This is what I inferred. From but that. in this music video, oh, no, she's yeah, making. Oh right. She's not ugly here. <laughs> she's making <laughs> ugly facial she's, expressions, though. No, I like she, when cute girls make ugly facial expressions. She, really? Yeah. That's pretty specific. <laughs> That's pretty specific. <laughs> That's awesome. She looks okay. She looks. She, she looks Fast like. forward this a little bit. Looks like Pee Wee Herman a little bit. It's kind of terrifying, actually. But, oh, like, look at that. She's just ripping off the Jane's Addiction video. <laughs> All right. That's disturbing. That's cool. <laughs> she can do whatever she likes, as far as I'm concerned, because yeah. the the talent is there. Yeah, no, she's, she's just she's just a great she's singer. She's scaring the hell out of all your parents. That's, what she's doing. <laughs> That's it. She's seen a few and Peter Gabriel videos. In everybody her life too. in the mainstream pop world wants to work with her. She's yeah. she's a hit maker. She makes look. Hits. I like people who have original thoughts, and these are a few <laughs> original thoughts right here. <laughs> just a few. She's influenced, though, you can tell. I like it. I dig it. Very her, good. I'm looking forward to hearing her new album because some, some of our my colleagues at Spotify have listened to a lot of tracks on the album. I yeah. Think, I, I think it's, it's coming out soon. Gotcha. And um, they say that the song Chandelier, which is the one that's doing really well now, isn't even the best. There are really... she's. It's like she's saved some excellent gold material and kept it for herself. You know, I find, like, it's really hard for artists now to have successful like sophomore records like it, like they just don't deliver yeah. the same uh splash that maybe i don't know i feel like adele like where's she at where's her where's her oh, new but her record? second album was fantastic yeah, i don't know yeah. i feel like i didn't hear anything about that i feel like some some artists struggle with maintaining more of like a legacy it gets than hard. just the first record i think it gets hard the pressure the pressure is on you. It's it's not on you for the first one yeah, so much. Right. No one really knows who you are. Right. But, but to follow that up's tough. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, like Lady Gaga. I think Gaga. it would be. Like I'm, I don't. I didn't really like her art pop record. No, I didn't. It definitely didn't resonate like her her first one, which is a shame. But she's she's a surprising person, and she could come back with an, a killer hit. Yeah. Next year, who knows? Yeah, it's possible. Don't, I wouldn't. Wouldn't count her out. No, of the no, game. she's still figuring out a way to sell out the garden. So, <laughs> yeah. um, all right, what else do we have? We only have a few minutes left. You have like um, one more artist. Another you want to talk about? thing that people are another song that people are talking about is Pitbull's um, oh, God. World Cup song. Oh God, you came oh, to the World wrong. Cup, you yeah. came to the wrong show. I know, that. but I thought you'd at Pitbull? least be a bit World Cuppy. Oh, we are, are you World one? Cuppy? Uh, we haven't talked I, about it on I the like show. I like the yet, World Cup. I like soccer. Is it well, it's coming up soon. It's, yeah, so? it's We Are One. We is Are the, One, okay. And um, it's starting to really gain traction, but it has it has been getting a bit of criticism outside. Why, because it's Pitbull? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not. There are some Brazilians who are a bit like, why is this Why is this our song? <laughs> oh, Because well, the, the World Cup is in Brazil. Right, Brazilians and, seem to be upset that the World Cup is even in Brazil. 
Because why would they be? I, well, there's I know a lot of problems in Cup. Brazil, and you know they're throwing all this money at this stadium, right? And there's people dying in the streets. Yeah, that's not good. So there's a little bit of a conflict of interest there. Right. Yeah. Priorities are a little out of whack there. Okay. But nevertheless, it's happening. The World Cup's happening there. Um, there will be soccer balls. So, so people are more. So, with the, the controversy with this song is that Pitbull. There's no controversy yeah. as far as I'm concerned. Okay. It's doing well. Our listeners are starting to really get into it. Mm -hmm. um, whether or not they're just gearing up for the World Cup and getting in the mood. Yeah. Um, but it, it features Jennifer Lopez. It's kind of a it's a winning combination mm -hmm. if you're into is the Pitbull pop scene. Brazilian? No, he's Cuban American. Mm, that's not which the is, same. Yeah. <laughs> but there is a there is a um, a Brazilian singer involved in the song but you only hear her a little bit and she does sing in portuguese but mm -hmm. so some some people are like well come on couldn't she have yeah, been featured yeah, more than jennifer lopez yeah. and and maybe that's a Jaylee's from brooklyn maybe that's a fair she's from the bronx she's oh, from sorry, the, the bronx <laughs> she's <from laughs> sorry the bronx sorry she's jenny <laughs> forgive me she's watching man forgive me <laughs> but she's been to brooklyn i'm sure i'm sure actually maybe not <laughs> well no i would think so no, that's no. You're right. That's the wrong borough. My bad. That song's doing well. Another song that's doing well is Calvin Harris's "Summer," which could be, which is another obvious choice for song of the summer. Calvin and I really Harris? like that. Yeah. Man, do you I've not heard know of, Calvin Harris? I've heard of twenty percent of the people you've brought to me. Well, today. I really, really am. Twenty percent of the people, and ashamedly so, it's Pitbull I've heard of. Oh, really? I, I don't know, he's he's kind of a dingleberry. What about he? Disclosure? He's a dingleberry. You don't think he's a dingleberry deluxe? No. All right. Hmm. Let's see. I haven't heard this one either. Let's yeah, I haven't heard this subject. One. This is a great song. Calvin Harris is a um, very popular EDM mm. artist, and he's singing on this track. Some people don't like his voice, and they can be quite mean about it. I love his voice. I think it sounds very sexy, yeah. which, which is what makes this a great summer song. Ah, so this guy used to produce music for Rihanna. This is. He produced her major hit, We Found Love. Oh, okay. Which is a really great song if you like to dance around the living room in your underwear. <laughs> Not that I've done that. <laughs> I thought you may have part. done it a couple of times. Okay. <laughs> I don't believe anything you say anymore, yeah, Shannon. Prove it. Why not? I, I it just, I don't know. You used to be like a truthful... When did my credibility disappear? You used to just have like a truthful demeanor to you, and now I just What's think you're changed? like this... You're just like this sly fox who just oh. does whatever. So this is the video for uh, Summer. I haven't seen the video. Do we see Calvin taking yeah, shirt off? Yeah, he's just like walking he from Vegas to LA, off. it looks like. Oh, but she her? took her shirt off, too. <laughs> she did. What's wrong with Calvin her? Calvin Harris is dating a girl named Rita Ora who's a, a name I think you're going to become familiar with before the end of the year. Yeah. Especially if you have me back on your show. familiar with her. She's, she is... Um, Special. A great singer. Great voice. Oh. And okay. she... Yeah, right? right. She, she, let's get scoliosis that way. She oh. has a song that her boyfriend produced, which is really starting to gain traction with right. our listeners too. Which, right. But... Let's let's dwell on summer. All right, for but now. Shannon, what do you think? Before we go, let's think? talk about like all these like oh, no, you know these another, one hit wonders. Here comes things. another challenging question. It's not a challenging thing. Me. I just don't think like these people are going to have the legacies this. of artists from yesteryear. Like no one's going to give a crap about. Well, it's funny you, know, you bring that up. I mean, what do you think, right? I'm not trying to make fun of these it's people. It's funny you saying. bring that up, and I'd like to take this opportunity to bring things full circle and bring up. Iggy Azalea again mm. because her album is called The New Classic and what she means by this is people her age which is you know young 20s young 20s probably late teens as well she said that she's tired of being told that nothing they do is classic and that they'll never do anything classic because mm. all the classic things have been done mm. so she called her album The New Classic which is you know also kind of suggesting okay here i am not your typical rapper i'm from australia i'm a white chick rapping mm -hmm. um maybe i can be the new classic well so she's definitively saying it is she's not even suggesting does it say no, like the new classic question mark but it's an inter <laughs> no <laughs> but it's an interesting it's an interesting point I yeah i know i hear what she's saying because the millennials do get a bit of a hard rap, you know, they're just in their, into their phones, they're into their social media, they're sure. into their selfies and, and all of that stuff. 
And so are we. It's mm-hmm. not because the, the content doesn't have the uh, possibility of being a classic. It's just that there's a lot more than just music now. Mm-hmm. So it's not yeah. just music. Like you look at like the 50s and 60s, it was like music and movies, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And now there's a lot of stuff. Yeah. So that's really maybe perhaps all it is. But I don't there's think too she's much. There's too much of everything. <laughs> yeah, there's way too there's much a lot. music. There's a lot of stuff. Definitely. There's a lot of stuff. Yeah, people are always trying to look for the new thing, and that new mm-hmm. thing comes every day now. So it I'm does. Sure that's You're right. Be what it is. You're totally right. There's way more of a selection now than there ever was. It's not Spotify's fault, though. Uh, that's <laughs> why. <laughs> that's why. You need, the, but it's not a bad thing. I mean, there's good and bad with it. That's yeah. why you um, you can be extra careful about who you choose to follow. Yeah. You know, you don't want necessarily want to follow a hundred people mm-hmm. and find out what they're listening to and discover all these new songs. Maybe you just want to follow five people whose judgment right. you trust. Yeah. And try and keep things a little bit focused. I always have to remind myself to give music more of a chance longer mm-hmm. of a chance. I felt like before I had Spotify, even before MP3s were really popular, I would just put on music and right. let it grow on me. I feel like people don't do that nowadays when they listen to music. They'll hear five seconds of the introduction and be like, nope, they'll disregard the entire album. Mm. Right. If they don't like one song, you know, the, the song number eight they happen to play at the time. Right. But, you know, maybe if you listen to the entire thing and that was the only CD you had in the car for a couple of years, you'd probably grow to love it. It'd be your favorite album. Yeah. It's like, uh, I, don't, I don't know what you would call that. It's, uh, no, you're right. Too much choice. You're right, because you would buy a record in the 90s mm-hmm. and you had to listen to it. Yeah. What yeah. else were you going to listen to? You didn't have all the world's music at, at your yeah. fingertips. Or you'd have like five CDs right. of a visor above yeah. your head in the car, and that was, that was your option. And you'd make it through them eventually, yeah. and you'd like almost learn to like it. Yeah. Weird. But now everybody does have all the world's music at right. their fingertips. Right. So and they're felt- loving that too. So yeah. Yeah. That's cr- what's crazy to me is I, I don't think before Spotify came around, I really understood how easy it was to listen to music. Mm-hmm. But uh, just the other day, I was like, I want to listen to some jazz music. And so I saved a playlist onto my Spotify account that was the 100 100- most popular jazz albums <laughs> of all time. Yeah. And I just had a hundred albums of music. I'd listen to that for the rest of my life and never hear the same song twice. Right. But it was just like that. It was, you know, mm. literally clicking one ad button. And it was nice to not have to necessarily think about it <coughs> right. too, wasn't it? I think it's cool that we've able to been we, we've lived on both sides of it. Right? Mm. Like we've we've dealt with it in the analog world and now we have this so we can appreciate it more. Yeah. Right? Maybe. All right. Well, we appreciate having you. Here, <laughs> is what I was going for. The you question is, that. though, more or less? <laughs> yeah. No, we want to have you back more is what we want to do. Oh, great. Okay? Well, I would love to come back. Thanks for having me. It's, yeah. always, it's always fun to... To educate Jeff. Yeah, because I don't know. I don't know every. I don't know half the things you bring to us, and you're an educational guest, and that's what we love about having you here. Uh, everyone should follow Shannon. It's true. We should I'm, make out now, all three of us. Well, maybe on the <laughs> post show. Uh, I'm like, okay, I gotta go. Is this um, a family show? I didn't know it that. It was. <sighs> Hold on, I just gotta think about. Everything that we just talked about. <laughs> Twitter, though. Follow Shannon on Twitter. <laughs> oh. At Shannon Cook with one N. She ain't got yeah. time for two N's. Just <laughs> one N. At Shannon Cook. And then uh, we're back here on Monday with a brand new show. Shoot us an email, the 404 at CNET.com. And follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Reddit, and Twitter. And now Spotify. <laughs> so we have the Spotify <laughs> playlist. And it's just Iggy Azalea. That's it. Who comes from Australia. Have a great... (laughs) And the Shannon Cook album dropping Tuesday. Right? No. Oh, we're going to get you to speak like that very soon. Uh, That's it for us, guys. Have a freaking great uh, weekend. Thanks for joining us this week. And we're back here Monday. Until then, I'm Jeff Bacala. I'm Justin Yu. I'm Ariel Nunez. This has been the 404 Show. High Tech, Low Brow. Thanks again to Shannon Cook. Always a pleasure. We'll see you. Adios. Australia.